in this video you will be introduced to the seven basic qc tools the first qc tools that you need to know is the flow chart a flow chart is a map to identify the sequence of activities in a process the process operations are represented in the boxes and arrows connecting them represent flow of control there are a few shapes that represent the step or action for the flow chart can you find out on yourself next we have a check sheet a check sheet is a table or a form used to systematically register data as it is collected the function of a check sheet is to present information in an efficient graphical format check sheets are used in when data can be observed and collected repeatedly by the same person or same location so here is the example of the check sheet histogram histogram is a graph showing frequency distributions or how often each different value in a set of data occurs the total area of the histogram is equal to the number of data histogram are used when the data are numerical to see the shape of the data's distribution and when to communicate the distribution of data quickly to the others histogram is not an instagram and next we have the Pareto diagram Pareto diagram introduced by Juran. So who is Juran? You need to find out on yourself. Pareto diagram is a histogram data from the largest to the smallest frequency to identify the focus areas and contain bar graph and a line graph. The length of the bars represent frequency and the cumulative total is represented by the line graph. Pareto diagram are used to analyze data about the frequency of problems of the process to focus on the most significant problem and to communicate with others. Next, we have the cost and effect diagram. Or the other name for cost and effect diagram is fishbone diagrams or Ishikawa diagrams. Cost and effect diagrams help to think the cause of a problem truly rather than just the one that are most obvious and helps in identifying the root causes of the quality failure. Cause and effect diagrams are used to identify the possible root causes to sort out to sort out and relate some of the interactions among the factors affecting and to analyze existing problems so corrective action can be taken next we have the scatter diagram as you look on your right scatter diagram is a type of diagram used to show the relationship between data items that have two numerical properties and plotted in x and y axis Scatter diagram are used when we have a pair numerical data to determine if two variables are related and testing for autocorrelation before constructing a control chart. And next, we have the control chart. Control chart is a graph used to study how a process changes over time. Data are plotted in time. Control chart has a central line for average and upper line for upper control limits and a lower line for lower control limits. The conclusions whether the process variation is in control or is out of control is by comparing current data to these lines. Control chart is also used to determine if a manufacturing or business process is in a state of st statistical order.